Hi and welcome. Uh, we are now live, which is great, live on YouTube, and it is Friday the 24th of April 2020. If you happen to be watching this some point in the future on a playback, then this was the time of the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, a lot of dance teachers not able to get out and teach their classes in person. A lot of us stuck at home and finding other ways to connect with our uh, students. So I've been broadcasting to my normal in-person student classes for the last five weeks online. We've been doing really well through Zoom, live classes, interaction. Um, but Fridays, now what about Fridays? Fridays, today's Friday, and I normally run some free practice sessions in my studio for people that are enrolled in my weekly classes. I run classes Monday through till Thursday, weekly ones. People come to me for half term at a time. We do normally six to eight weeks in a term, and I've got uh, lots of different levels. I mainly teach salsa. That's my predominant style uh, in my studio. It's uh, a lot of different salsa classes. I teach LA style salsa. That's the first one that we teach. And then uh, I do teach um, a little bit of salsa on two, um, but that's not as widely danced where I am. Um, I love teaching club style cha-cha. Uh, that's all part of the Salsa family. And then separate to that, I actually teach at my local university college. And there I support them with all of their dance programs. So we are doing ballroom and Latin, traditional ballroom and Latin. I do a lot of dance fitness classes. Again, I'm very, very, very busy. There's classes all over the place. But like I say, the last few weeks, classes being run from my living room. Uh, we're not actually allowed to travel at the moment to the studio. So the studio is sat empty. I do live about 30 minutes away from the studio. So that would be breaking our travel ban and we're not going to do that. So here we are today. I wanted to just focus a little bit today on social foxtrot. Now, social foxtrot is not as scary as it sounds. We have the beautiful ballroom foxtrot which when you look at it on YouTube, or if you've watched it on Strictly or Dancing with the Stars, you see everyone gliding around the ballroom, beautiful, beautiful sweeping steps. Everyone's in their ballroom holds and it looks wonderful. Very, very difficult dance, but we also have the social foxtrot. In the UK and sort of maybe this side of Europe, uh, we call it the social foxtrot. It's also called a rhythm dance. If you're coming more from the States, uh, in America and Canada, they have a slightly different system. Um, they actually uh, call this just Foxtrot. And this is more a social dance, okay? And this is one of the dances that I teach for the very, very first dance when someone walks in and says, I want to ballroom dance, what can I do? I say, do you wanna get up on Saturday night and move around the floor? They say, yes. I say, great, we do the social Foxtrot. This class, for the next 90 minutes or so, is specifically for leader's steps. Now, I don't mind whether you're a man or a lady, it doesn't matter, but I'm breaking my classes down, and every time I advertise something, it's going to say whether I'm teaching the leader's steps or the follower's steps, or whether I'm teaching both at the same time and where it would be a good idea to have the partner. Now, that means having a partner in your same household at times of coronavirus, or it means at some point in the future, you having watched this maybe individually and getting together when that sort of thing is allowed. Today is all about the leaders. And I wanted to do this today because I get guys that are too shy to come to the class. We get messages. I talk to people on the phone and they're just not sure about getting into the class. It's quite scary to think that you are walking into a room full of strangers you don't have a friend, you don't have a partner. Um, a lot of people come to ballroom dancing quite often in their partnerships. You know, traditionally it's a, a husband and a wife and they come to ballroom dancing. A lot of people don't have that. I don't even have a professional partner myself, never have done. Uh, it's very, very much of a struggle for me with my lifestyle. I want guys to be able to get up and go out for a social dance. Where I am geographically, we have lots of social dancing but you need to know how to get around the dance floor. Social foxtrot can be done to any kind of music with a steady rhythm. It can be done to, believe it or not, it can be done to disco music. It can be done to cha-cha music. It can be done to swing music. There are 
thousands of genres of music where you can take your social foxtrot and move around the floor, which is why it's the most useful dance. Going to a dinner and dance, thinking, my goodness, I have to get up and do something around the floor. This is the one to do. Why do I say that? Because your partner does not need to know all the steps. So if you get what we're doing today and you get that nice and confidently, you could take said person that's sitting on the side of the room, say, come with me to the dance floor, take a hold of them, and you will be able to lead these steps with that partner who's never done it before and get round the room. 100% money back guarantee. You haven't paid for this, it's free, it's on YouTube, but you see what I mean, okay? It is absolutely, if we can do this now, you can get round the floor and you will be able to lead. Lead, that's the important thing. We are not planning a routine. We are not doing what you would do on Strictly and say, come on, this is a three minute routine. We learn it and we practice it. We are creating the dance as we go around the room, okay? Now, if you're with me live, I can't see who you are unless you're logged into your Google or YouTube account with a name. So just drop me a little message in the comments box. As you can see, I'm looking left and right. My laptop is here, making sure that all the studio is working and that I can actually check that the recording is still going. There I have a big screen so that I can see all the chat. Camera in the middle. We are good to go. By the way, my name's Adele, just in case you, I didn't say that at the beginning. I've done a lot of broadcasts today. Social fox drop. Let's go. I'm facing the front. You get to see my back. We'll worry about the hold and the lead in a minute. Let's just do a little bit of walking around the room. All I'm going to do is go for a small walk. Take your left foot. Two walks. How easy was that? We are dancing. You are dancing. We are fox trotting. Take a side step and we close. Walk it back. Left and right side and close. Now, I am assuming that you are all in confined spaces like me. If you're watching this on YouTube, there is a good chance you are in a very, very small space. You could be hiding in the cupboard. So I am going on the assumption that we are all going to keep this really, really small and work our way around in a very confined area. So we go back to where we started and we do it all again. Left foot, right foot, side together. Left, right, side, close. Give me the same thing. Left, right, side, close. Every time we make a move or a figure in dance, we call it a figure. So each figure has a set amount of steps. I'm going to give you the name. And then after the class in the comment section in the description, I will update it to say what, uh, what steps that we managed to get through. At the moment, if you were to look in the description, you can just see all my contact details. There is a music playlist in there. I have provided a link to Spotify so you can hear some of the beautiful songs, lots of famous songs in there that you will know. For the purpose of the class and not getting banned on YouTube, I actually have a couple of authorized, non-copyrighted songs. They're not very exciting, trust me. They're just for practice. Um, but there's some great music in there. Um, I use lots of very, very popular tracks. They're on that Spotify playlist. We'll come back to that in a minute. But look, my left foot is going to do all the work. So every time we take a new move or a new figure, we'll start on our left foot. OK, so this is a basic and the basic comes as a pair. We do the forwards, the side, the back, the side. OK, so I want you to think when I say a basic, we mean do it as a pair. Let's go left, right, side together left, right, side, together. Now we have the step and the direction. We need to add in some little bit of timing. Okay, this is not as technical as it sounds. In the music, you will hear counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to tell you how many counts for each step. I'm then going to tell you how many slows and quicks because not everyone likes the numbers. Some people like to hear numbers, map it out with the numbers. Other people like to hear slow and quick. So let's go with the numbers first. One, two. That left foot took two counts. My right foot's going to take two counts. 
three, four. I'm going to now go more quickly. My left foot is going to be five, and this is going to be six. Let me do that a little bit quicker. So we're going for one, two, three, four, five, six. Come back to your start. Oh, one, two, three, four, and five, six. Most commonly, you will hear the teachers talk about slows and quicks. No big secret, do not panic. All that means, the slow count is double the amount of time as the quick count. So in this scenario, our slow count is two beats and our quick count is just one beat. Let's go again. Slow, slow, quick, quick. Let's do that once more, okay? One quick, that's a one single beat, and a slow is two beats. Okay, so if you're doing the mathematics, it's double. Let's go again. Slow, slow, quick, quick. Let's take the backwards basic. Slow, slow, quick, quick. Let's do it again. Slow, slow, quick, quick. Slow, slow, quick, quick. Hopefully you're still with me. Do not forget the wonders of the modern technology. Once the live broadcast is over, this is stored forever on the YouTube platform. You can replay this with the little cog function just underneath the screen. And if you open up that cog, it pops up to the little menu and it says playback speed. And you can select a quarter, a half, three quarters. And then I will be going very, very slowly across your screen. <laughs> I'm only joking, but you know what I mean. If I go too fast, I talk a lot, I maybe go too fast. The steps may be too quick. You can always come back and review it at your leisure. Let's do that pair. Five, six, seven, and slow, slow, oh, quick, quick, slow, slow, and quick, quick. Now, did you see me put my arms up, okay? Ballroom arms, now you see it on YouTube and it's wonderful. There's all these techniques and it's all very, very, very serious. And it's all about this frame. We're not worried about that. I just want you to get up on Saturday night and move around the floor. However, your left hand is roughly about here and your right hand will be around your partner's back. My lady in red, here's my partner. I'll go sideways on. This hand would be underneath her arm, a little bit round to the center of her back. Now, depending on the height difference and the size difference between me and my partner, I might find that I can be a little bit too far round, or I might just be about here. It depends, you know, how much of you both there is. So the idea is do not slip down to her waist. We don't go down to the waist. We're round, heading towards between the shoulder blade and the center of her back, and our left hand is outstretched. I don't need a full ballroom hold. I just need you not to drop the arms down. If you're new to this, which I assume you are because you're watching the beginner's introduction, try doing this for about three hours. It is hard work, okay? You have to train your muscles to be up here, okay? So you need lots of exercises like this to strengthen your muscles so that this feels nice and comfortable. But we're not worrying about that today. Let's just move once more. Five, six, seven, and walk, walk, side together, walk, walk, side together, walk, walk, side together, walk, and walk, side together. Did you see that little bit of sway? I've put a tiny bit of sway in there. It's a social foxtrot. The music will decide. Wonders of live broadcast. My neighbors have started banging around let me just close my window. Sounds like someone is doing some banging and some DIY. Hmm. Don't get that in the professional videos, do you? Now, swagger with the music as it takes you. So it's not as prim and proper, okay? We are generally having a nice time with the music. I sway, I sway, and side together, sway, and sway, and side together. That will be dictated by your mood. How scared you are of being on the dance floor with your partner because you may just be thinking, my goodness, I just need to walk my steps, hold on to my partner and hope for the best. That's normally the first time. Or whether you really like that track or not, okay? And how it makes you want to sway. Don't worry too much about that. We have done our basic step. We're going to do it with the music. 
So after we do one or two steps, I'm going to put some music on. Like I said, this is YouTube friendly music. It is not fantastic, but it will keep us right with the copyright and the cool music is in that link underneath the description. Let us go with this. And let me just plug in said cable that I managed to unplug in my little break. I do apologize. Let's try that again. And go. It's not very exciting. Five, six, five, six, seven, and something uh Van Morrison Moon Dance Neil Young Harvest Moon there's lots of cool stuff loads of Rod Stewart ones in there as well a bit of Michael Bublé even Robbie Williams a new mine house it's all in that playlist now how do we lead that if we take someone onto the dance floor and they've never done this before my right arm around my lady in red there is pressure gentle pressure, I'm not squeezing the life out of her, but there is a little bit of gentle pressure into her back, just where her shoulder blade is. And there's a nice leveling of my arm coming up like this underneath her arm, her arm will be on top, her arm is laying on top. And there's a little bit of gentle persuasion, not pushing and shoving, but gentle persuasion when I need her to move to the side. We call this our frame, okay? Remember, the lady's arm's on there, my arm's here, I'm like this. Now, the lady's in my embrace. If I move towards her with my starting step, anyone's natural reaction when someone invades your space is to jump back. If you literally marched up to someone in the street and got in their face, they're gonna jump back, either that or they might headbutt you. But the plan, Hopefully it's not the headbutt, but most people are like, oh my goodness, this person's in my face. Ladies will naturally move away from you, okay? So that's our forward step. She'll start to walk backwards. You may have to just say to her, if she doesn't know this dance, start on your right foot. But once you've got that and say to her, just walk, walk, walk. Now you've gone forwards into her space. She's hopefully walked back. Little bit of a nudge now to the way that we're traveling. That'll be our left. And I'm doing that with my right arm here and I'm pushing like this, little push, little nudge. Here's my lady in red, little bit of a nudge here, little bit of pressure, not a lot, as I want her to go with her sidestep. So I've invaded her space, I've gone to the side and because we're, we're attached, her arms are mine, her hands in mine, I can do that little nudge. We are physically attached to each other. If I go, she has to go. Otherwise, she'll get left behind and her arms will be pulled about. OK, so she might not know the exact steps, but she's generally going to start to walk in the same direction. If you do have any questions, those of you that are watching live, type it in the little comments box. Ask me anything you want. I will stop in a minute and do questions. So that's the lead and follow. We lead with our body because it's attached to our partner they will feel that movement, even if the steps aren't perfect. We're going to add on another step. As I said, I'm going to show you each step individually by returning to the same starting spot. When we put it all together, we will run out of room. So what will happen is we will curve in an anti-clockwise direction. That's leftwards 
to most of us. And we will have our small ballroom. Here's my very small ballroom, okay, my dance area. But for now, I'm gonna show you one step, return to the beginning. The next step, come back to the beginning. I'm holding my partner. I'm going to look to my left. Now notice my body's opened up and I look like I'm about to charge down the room, okay? I'm trying not to look aggressive, but look, I'm charging down the room. That's the, the motion. I am pushing her away slightly boom, with this hand so that she opens up. Now, if I jump onto this side and pretend to be a lady for the moment, here I am dancing with my man. Oh my goodness, he pushed me over, okay? And he's gonna push me away. I will do that sideways onto the camera so you can see now. Here I am. On this side, I shall be a man. Here's my lady. I'm holding her. We're in our normal partner hold. We're front to front, face to face. And I say, no, we're gonna promenade, okay? And I look like I'm gonna charge down the room, okay? I go the other side. Now you have to understand that once I'm being a lady, I have my green man. So I have my lady in red or my green man. And I'm giving him a little hug up here and our arms are here. And he says, oh, let's charge. We're gonna go down the room. Off we go, we charge. Okay, so we were quite happy, I'm being the lady. And I did a walk and a walk and a side together. Oh, this is nice, we're walking, we're walking. That's beautiful. Oh, wow, okay, he just pushed me. And we call that promenade position. Lots of technical terms, but basically think of it as charge down the room. So far, so good? Let's hope so. It's very strange doing this, we're not actually able to see people's faces. At least even with Zoom, when I do that, I have a little bit of interaction with people, but I'm hoping you're still with me. So my promenade position is my look down the room and charge. Left foot starts. Remember I said left foot's always going to start for the man. I'm working on leader steps today. This is everything in this class is designated for leaders. I will obviously at some point in the next couple of weeks do the ladies. But I look down the room. I'm going to take my two walks, slow, slow, as I charge down towards my sofa. Walk, walk. I then square up and look at my partner and do my side close. Side close. Now, you maybe don't take such a big step because we're in a confined space. I look, I walk, I walk, I side and close. So if you think about the two steps that we've just done, the first basic and now this promenade, promenade, we are walking, promenade. Um, what's happening is I'm doing the same amount of counts on my feet and the timing, it's the same. Slow, slow, quick, quick. It's the same as when we did the basic. Let's do that promenade once more. I charge, slow, slow, quick, quick. Hopefully we're doing okay. Let's put that together with the first basic. Now you're gonna say to me, how do we fit that in in the room? Do not panic. Let me move my speaker just a tad. We're going to do one pair of the basic, just the one pair, and then one promenade. And hopefully you've got enough room. You don't have to turn yourself around your space. I go walk, walk, side together, walk and walk, and side together and promenade, promenade, side together. Let's go back to the beginning. Let's take that again. Five, six, seven, and slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. Let's do it once more. Five, six, seven, and slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. Now, if anyone's watching this and has done some kind of other dancing, partner dancing, and you're a little bit more confident with being in hold and some of these technical terms, you're thinking, well, I want to make this look a little bit more fancy. Footwork. When we are going forwards on our forward step, it's a heel lead, okay? You may have heard of that when you've watched some of these dance programs, especially Dancing with the Stars, Strictly, whichever. We talk about ballroom having a heel lead. Now, what that means is I'm sliding my heel on the floor, heel, and I'm hinging 
and there's a little bit of a bend on my standing leg. So I go slide, yes? I go slide. That's all I need you to do. Think about heel leads. I'm gonna go on a nice little heel. Slow, slow, quick, quick. Now I'll go back on my toes. Toes, toes, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. So just slide the heel with the toes slightly elevated off the floor. Heel, not so far, we're not slipping on a banana skin. It's just a little down, okay? We're not going into much rise and fall. We're not gonna be bouncing up and down on our toes. Social dance, keep it simple. Glide, glide, side together, glide. Glide, side together, glide, glide, side together, and walk into your sofa. Any questions, queries, or problems, put it in the little messenger down there for those that are on live. I can see that on that big screen. We are going to do, with the music, the two basics, and then the promenade. Okay, so it's the Bahera basics, then the promenade. <laughs> and stop you from falling asleep <laughs> okay so we've learned our basic and we've learned our promenade let us add on yes we're going to add on we're like oh my goodness how many steps well i made a list before the class and i made a list of the first 26 figures that i could think of of social foxtrot okay that's the first 26 that i could think of off the top of my head five minutes before we started the class therefore we are not going to do all 26, do not panic. We're just going to add on a little bit at a time. Now this is the cool bit. The guys actually don't have to do as much as the ladies on some of the steps. So with that promenade step, I may decide to turn my lady, okay? Give her a turn, I don't have to turn. All I need to do is lead it. So I would still be taking my promenade, promenade, side close. My steps aren't going to change. She will turn, I won't. What happens to make this happen? That's not bad, that's not good English is it? What I'm going to do to make her turn is I'm going to lift up my joined hand towards the ceiling, back of the hand, up to the ceiling, gently point my fingertips down, and that'll be like a little cup. So my fingertips will be in a little cup of the lady's hand, okay? Remember, we were like this, okay? So the man's palm was like this. The lady's palm was like that. She was clasped on top of you. You will relax gently to a nice loose fingertip connection with the back of your hand up and your fingertips down, and she will be hanging on gently here, like a little kind of hook. And as you do so, you will do this one little rotation like that. Okay, I will face this way. It is a clockwise rotation. It is to your right. It is a small, small clockwise. You see that in front of the camera? Just like that, gentle. And that is about over the top of her head. Think about drawing a halo. We're not stirring a big pot. It's small, little halo over the head of the lady. So I go to the promenade position 
and I make that adjustment to put the hand up and I go walk and walk whilst drawing halo, she should be round and then I go side and close. So when I do the side close, I square up to her and I take her back in the embrace. She should be turning as I'm doing the halo and as I'm doing my promenade walks. So I go promenade, arm up, walk, walk, side together. Now to make this happen more smoothly, in my personal opinion, I suggest doing a normal promenade in the hold first. Now I always say to my students, I will teach you every single figure that I can possibly think of and you can put them together in any order you feel like. But the warning sign comes up now, big warning sign. There are some steps which do not feel comfortable going one to the next. There are other steps which feel absolutely natural and beautiful to go one to the next. So my little warning sign tells you now that if you go straight into the promenade with the turn, the lady might be a little bit, oh my goodness, what's going on? So I always lead a normal promenade in hold before I'm going to do the turn. And then she's already used to us charging down the room. She knows what's happening. So let's do the two together. One in hold, walk, walk, side together, arm up, walk, back to the embrace. Okay, so one normal promenade, and we walk down the room and one giving her the turn. We will go walk, walk, side together, turn her, turn her, embrace, square off. Okay, like I said at the moment, we're just doing one figure across the room and then we're restarting again. Let us do that with the music. And I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start at that end and I'll turn around. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go walk, walk, side together, turn her, turn her, side together. I will then turn myself round. I will face my camera. You guys will probably be facing the back of your room. It doesn't really matter. And I'll go the other way, walk, walk side together walk walk side together not only does that help me use my space but also for the camera you can then see the steps from both sides hopefully that might make a difference it would also help if you've got a partner in the future and you want to practice this together so i put the music on i'm going to change to another lovely youtube song <laughs> Just the promenade and the promenade turn. Five, six, seven, and look where you're going. Square up. Turn your lady. Square up. Other way. Okay. I told you the music is, is lovely. Anyway, we're going to put that with our basic step. So this is what's going to happen. We're going to do that pair. We're going to go walk, walk, side together, walk, walk, side together, promenade, promenade, side together, turn her, turn her, side together. I'm going to do it once each way, linear, going literally across my room, and then I'm going to help you turn this around your room and imagine that you have a ballroom or a social room, uh, a, a place that you would normally dance, okay, and you're going to go around the room, okay, because we do need to figure that out. We can't just keep stopping and going back in the ballroom. So let's do it with the music. 
just by going to one side, stopping and turning round, and then we'll work out how we're going to go around the room. Basics, promenade, promenade with the turn. Five, six, seven, and four. Give me four. room quite often you're not in a full ballroom quite often you might just have a small square of wood put down in the middle of a function room for a wedding or something like that so this is perfect because we oh i have very small space i am going to walk you around the room forget your steps at the moment and i want you to place your left hand leaders into the center of your space and to make this even more crazy for you here's my fruit bowl there is the middle of my dance floor. Now, trust me, do not go and put the fruit bowl in the middle of the dance floor on a Saturday night because they are going to think that you've lost the plot. But this is so you can see the space that we have. Now, let's see how that is on the camera. I need to make that maybe there. Okay, it's hard to get everything up and down. In fact, I might just adjust the camera just a tiny bit down so you can see a little bit further into my floor. You don't need to see the tops of my arms. My lovely fireplace. <laughs> yes, well, you can still see the top of my head and you can see a little bit more floor. There you go. I've just doubled the size of the dance floor. Now, left hand, I mean, do the same thing. Put something in the middle of your floor. Put a book or something or throw something in the middle of the floor. Left hand towards object in floor. Right shoulder towards the outside of your room, the walls. And I just want you to walk anti clockwise around your room. Didn't take me very long to get around the ballroom. <laughs> okay, so hopefully we've got the idea. Your left hand is into the center of your room. Your right shoulder is on the outside of your room. And if you're quite close to your walls, you should be scuffing your walls. Now we're going around the dance floor. So that's the way that we go around the dance floor anti-clockwise, which means when I do my steps, I'm turning them ever so slightly, just a little bit. In fact, I'm going to move this just back a little bit here. Make sure that we've got enough space. You can still see that off. Yes, we can still see that on the camera. Every class I do, I need a different angle because if I'm doing, sometimes I'm doing mat work for the fitness classes or I'm doing something that you need to see my arms. So the camera's going up and down like a yo-yo at the moment. It would help if I was a little bit smaller and then you would see me fully on the screen and see, look, arms going off. Right, let's look at our steps. In relation to the centre of our room, i.e. fruit bowl, and the outside of our room. Now, I am going to look at my outside wall. I'm going to put my back to my fruit bowl. Remember, we were going anti-clockwise. And I'm going to walk my basic step. I'll start a little bit here. So I'm going walk, walk, side together. Walk, walk, side together. Now I'm going to do my promenade, charge down the room. But instead of just charging towards my sofa, I'm going to turn a little bit. Okay, keep it going anti-clockwise. Walk, walk, square off to your partner. Now again, charge down the room, but it's a circular room now. I need to keep going around my object in the middle. Walk, walk, I was turning her, square off. Now I'm still facing the outside of my room. Remember, I'm facing the outside, okay? My chest is to the outside wall. My back is now to my object in the middle of my dance floor. I will go again. Walk, walk, side together, walk, walk side together walk walk side together turn her turn her 
side together, walk, walk, side together, walk, walk, side together, promenade, promenade, side together, turn her, turn her, side together. If anyone's just joined us in the middle of the video, I am, yes, dancing around the fruit bowl, and this is my very small dance floor, okay? So we do have to improvise a little bit, but that's how you can keep it going around your room and not have to keep stopping and starting, okay? Now, we are going to add on another step. Yes, we are. So I'll just move the fruit bowl for a moment. Let's put another step in. Nice and easy. I'll face the front, okay? Just for now, I'll face the front. Don't worry about the arms. They don't have to be up at the moment. Okay. Nice little step. I want you to think about the rhythm, okay? So far, we've done slow, slow, quick, quick. Slow, slow, quick, quick. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing. And then in a minute, I'll change it and we'll do a new step that doesn't have that rhythm. But I'm gonna do a rock step first. So this one is good for corners, obstacles, and the such. So I'm gonna take my left foot and I'm going to rock one walk forwards. I then change my mind. I don't take the second walk forwards. I change my mind and I go back. And then I take a little side close. Okay, let's just do that again. Left foot, one forwards. Right foot, replace the weight. Side and close. Now we say rock step because we're rocking forwards, rocking back. Remember, I will be attached to my partner, holding my partner. I will go into her space and then I will tip her back into my space. So I will go forwards and rock and side together. Okay, you can see me sideways on, you can see that tilt. Forwards, back, side together. Now the rock step on its own is usually used for a little bit of rotation. Okay, that's why I say it's quite good for corners because we normally rotate about 90 degrees to our left as we do the rock step. So I will go rock, rock, side together. You see that? I made about a quarter turn. Okay, so I'm doing a tiny bit of rotation on the rocks and a little bit more obvious rotation on the side close. Here I go again. Left. And look, I'm starting to turn over my left shoulder. Right. A little bit more. Side. Close. Let's do that again. Rock. Rock. Side close. Roughly speaking, a quarter turn doesn't have to be a quarter turn. It can be for the amount of space that you need to get around. Again, remember, we're dancing in our living room, but if we were dancing in a social evening, you might have someone dancing there and you might need to just avoid them, okay? You might need to hang out on the spot a little bit because the dance floor is really busy and you think, my goodness, I can't actually keep moving because I need to hang out. Rock step done about four times. We'll see you rotating round on the spot. So this step is essential for your floor craft. My goodness, look at all these words we're learning today. Floor craft simply means do not bang into the other couples moving around you, okay? You've got to keep your eyes open and see what's going on. Now, you don't know what steps they're going to do. This is like having a sixth sense. You can't be watching all their steps, but you have to have this awareness of where the other couples are and are you going to go crashing into them? OK, it's not too bad in social foxtrot because in the social foxtrot, we're not traveling at speed. We're having a general stroll around the floor. Quick step. Well, we're going very fast. Quick step. It's a nice big galloping move around the room and therefore we can run into more trouble. But the social foxtrot shouldn't be too bad. But this rock step is perfect, absolutely perfect for hanging out on the spot, having a little chill. We're going to do four. Follow me. Rock, rock side together rock rock side together my right foot isn't going very far my right foot's staying roughly on the spot and i'm back to where i started do it all over again slow slow quick quick slow slow quick 
quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. I can keep going until I go dizzy. So we've learned we can do one rock step just for a small amount of rotation to keep us going a little bit, you know, anti-clockwise around our room. Or we could do multiples, probably four, and it will take us in one full circle on the spot. Okay, so not traveling around, on the spot. Should we try again? Maybe we put it with a basic step as well. So let's have a look. I was coming along the room just nicely, and I'm gonna move up to the corner there, and I'm going to bump into my sofa, but I'm not because I'm gonna do my rock step. But let me do my basic step, just a basic. I walk, walk, side together, walk, walk, side together. I'm quite happy doing my basic step. I'm having a nice stroll around the floor. I'm approaching the sofa. Oh, I'm looking at the sofa. It's coming at me. I rock, rock, side together. Beautiful, quarter turn, now I move off again. Walk, walk, side together, walk, walk, side together. I'm approaching the chaise longe part of my sofa, very posh, just the sticky out bit. Rock, rock, side together. I continue walks, basics, and carry on. I hope that's nice and clear for you. Now, I know I'm teaching you lots of stuff today, and it may seem like a lot, but trust me, once you're practicing it over and over again, it's not too bad. There are other tutorials on YouTube. Please go ahead and have a little look at them. Lots of different things out there. Um, one that I would say, when you get a little bit further along, there's a, 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 um, a channel, that's the word, a channel called Sway Ballroom. They've got a green and yellow logo. They actually have a very nice little social foxtrot playlist. They're, far, they're fast. The videos are literally like 10, 15 seconds. They show you the step and then move on. There's no breakdown. It's just literally name of step. It goes like this. They've done it and whatever. But like I say, you can stop it, play it back, reverse it. But they have a nice big list on there of all the different moves. Uh, far more professionally filmed than in my living room. But I would also recommend having a quick look on there. You'll get some more ideas. OK. However, back to me. Back to me for right Right now, don't lose me, don't lose me. <laughs> We're gonna put this all together. I'm gonna to go around my room. This is what we are going to attempt. One pair of basics, one promenade in hold, one promenade, we turn our imaginary lady, and then we're gonna do a rock step. Hope for the best. Fruit bowl. I'm marking the center of my room with my fruit bowl. I will go around my room. Here we go. Five, six, seven, and walk, walk, side together, walk, walk, side together, promenade, promenade, side together, turn her, turn her, side together, rock, rock, side together, rock, rock, side together. I'm doing four of my rock steps on the spot. All four bring me around and then I'm ready to go again. Let's go. Any questions, queries and problems, type it in the chat. Let me just um, check that this is working. Sometimes the little chat function doesn't always work on the live broadcast. It's happened to me a couple of times. I'm saying to people, message me, and then they can't. And then they try and send me a message on uh, Messenger or something else, and I can't always see that. I think we're okay. Music. Lovely YouTube music. <laughs> If you don't do it in the same order as me, it doesn't matter. Just keep moving around your room. Thanks. 
in the middle of the room. I am going on the assumption we are advancing through. Here's my lady in red. She's doing very, very well. Okay. Hopefully you're all still with me. Questions, queries? No, nothing yet. Good. I continue. I hope the couple of people that are on live are doing okay. Take water. Keep going. Let us move on. We shall look at a new step. So we've now learned our basic. And if you took your partner on the dance floor and she knew nothing, and maybe she wasn't very good at following, and maybe she really has never done any kind of dancing before, just do the basic. Walk, walk, side together, walk, walk, side together. She would be more than happy with that. Something I always say to my students, I give you a lot of content, but I also expect you not to go rushing in to put every single piece in until you're ready. And if your brain is on overload right now, then do you know what? Pause, go off, get a cup of tea, come back to this video in the future and go through it again. Okay, if those four steps are enough for you, fabulous. I've got you interested, you've done a little bit, that's fine, okay? Do not do too much at once. Just hit the pause button and off you go. Come back to it another time. If you're doing okay and you, have obviously maybe done some other dancing before, please carry on with me, follow on, I'm gonna add some more things on. But don't rush it, walking around, couple of promenades, be done with it, if that's what you need for a Saturday night. So for a dinner dance, a wedding dance, that's probably more than enough, okay? Even the little rock step would be just fine. Do a couple of basics, a little rock step, and then off you go. However, for the brave, we carry on. Uh, excuse me if the lighting's changing, the sun is moving round, on my house at the moment. I will not complain because it's beautiful to have the sun where I live. We do not get the sun enough. Uh, so that is fabulous, not complaining, but it's just changing the lighting. I can see that on the video as I progress. We move on, the next step. Now, starting on my left foot, this step is a little bit like a wall step. So I am going to go forwards, side together, back side together. Now for the first time, my side step has gone to the right. If you notice all the other side steps we've done so far have been to the left. Okay, so this one's going to the right. Don't panic, it's not a mistake, it's intentional. Left, side together, back. Side together, forwards, side together, back. Side together, forwards, side together, back. Side together, forwards, side together, back, side together. 
we have drawn a square on the floor. Okay, if you don't believe me, I'm going to put my lady on the floor. Not very nice, I don't mean like that. But there she is. She's a lovely square shape, multifunctional lady at the moment. I'm going to ungainly step over, but you can see we call this a box step. Now, a box step appears in lots of different dances. Box step literally just means somehow or other going round in a square. In this example, it is to the first corner, side close to the next corner, back, side, together, forwards, side, together, back, side, together, without the ungainly stepping over the lady, <laughs> just to show you that we're on a square. If you've not realized by now, I have quite a visual way of teaching. I try and give lots of different explanations about the same thing. I will normally find at least three sometimes four or five different ways to explain things. Everyone learns differently. Some people love to listen to me. Other people are asleep listening to me, but they like to see the nice visuals. Other people are very mechanical and mathematical and say, Adele, send me the step sheet, send me the numbers, and I'll work it out. I don't mind how you do it. Lots of different ways to learn. Box step again. Side together. Back. Side together. Timing. First time we're going to do a different change of timing. Slow, quick, quick. Do not panic, do not panic, do not panic. Everything else we've done has been slow, slow, quick, quick. This is one slow, two quick. One slow, two quick, okay? Now the others have been two slows, two quicks. Don't panic, I'm just going to walk you through this. Slow, quick, quick, 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 slow, quick, quick. Excuse me. There we go. Again, box step can be done with rotation. Optional, you can rotate. Now, this is a little bit more of an advanced step. And if you're getting a little bit confused in direction in the room, leave it out. I am just going to show you so you've got it on the video and it's broken down for you. When you come back to this in the future, you can skip over this bit if you don't like it. If I repeat the box step like I did with the rock step, if I repeat it enough times, I will move around on the spot and come back to exactly where I started. So take a little look. Slow, quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick. In that example, I did about a 45 degree turn per step. So that after every pair, I had done 90 degrees or roughly gone to the next wall. So look, I did slow, quick, quick. That's about 45 degree turn. I'm looking into my corner. I went back on my right, another 45 degrees. And I'm now roughly facing my first wall. That's my sofa wall and my window. I'll go again. I'll be facing my back corner, 45 degrees. Another 45 degrees, I will be facing my back wall. That's my, I've done two pairs. Pair, uh, third pair coming up, I'm gonna look to my corner wall, my back corner wall. There's a little 45 degrees. I go another 45 degrees. I'm looking to my last side wall where my speaker is. Now I'm gonna go to my corner. I'm on the angle, 45 degrees. And then I'll go back. So once I've done four pairs of box or eight in total, I would be right back to the beginning. That is if I am shuffling around the floor at a very nice slow tempo, taking everything nice and easy and having a very, very chilled out dance. Should I, however, be dancing to some slightly more energetic music and should my partner be following me quite well, I will rotate a little bit more. So I will try and get a little bit further round. 
in which case I will only need to do two pairs and I should be back on my spot. So that would look like this. I do 90 degrees on the first, okay? I do 90 degrees on the second. I do 90 degrees on the third and then 90 degrees on the fourth. That realistically uh, is probably more what I would do. Um, again, I'm used to dancing, I'm used to rotation. Uh, my legs are quite long, so my step's a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. So that also plays a part in it. But just to give you an idea, you can under and over turn as much as you need to until you get around. Any questions, queries or problems on that, do let me know. So I said to you, do the box step. In the routine that we're going to do today, the one that we've been adding on to, I'll just do that box step without rotation. And that's what I call a holding step. Imagine there's some dancers here uh, and I can't go any further and I don't want to stop dancing and I don't want to crash into them. I can just do my box step on the spot without any rotation and that will just keep me without any crashing or anything. So if I just do it here, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. And I am going to do two pairs. The reason being in this little routine that we're putting together for the memory. OK, like I said, you don't have to do anything in a particular order, but just for the purpose of teaching and giving you something so you've got a little routine to remember. I will do the two pairs on the spot without rotation. Those of you watching this in the future that have got a little bit better. And if it's not a complete uh, new to thing to you to do rotation in partner dancing, then please do put the rotation in. We'll go two pairs, that's four sets of steps, and you will be able to do 90 degrees on each one and be at the same place in the routine as anyone who's not rotating, okay? So level one, don't do the rotation. Level two, put your rotation in, okay? We're gonna go all the way, it seems ages ago. We've been at this for an hour now. We are doing very, very, very well. I did put on the advertising that I plan to do this for around about 90 minutes, but we'll see how we're getting on. Do give me some feedback um, if I'm going on for too long. Now, let's try and put the whole thing together that we have so far. The first time I do it, I will stop after each step and just move myself back to the starting position. So you really clearly have each step and then I will piece it all together and move around the floor. So. First of all, we had a pair for the basic. Walk, walk, side together, walk, walk, side together. Come back to my start. One promenade in hold, one promenade with the lady turning. Walk, walk, side together, turn her, turn her, side together. The next one that we did was the rocking step. And this one I did four and I did do the rotation. I'd like you all to do the rotation, okay? So we go, rock, rock, side together, rock, rock, side together, rock, rock, side together, rock, rock, side together. So try to do four and try to do one whole 360 full rotation, anti-clockwise we're going. Okay, that's step number three is the rocking step, all four of them, okay? Everyone's like, oh my goodness, my brain's going. And then we have the box step on the spot. Like I said, I'm putting these steps in a particular order just so we can do the routine and do it with the music, but they're not have to be in that order in the future, okay? Now, I'm going to do my, rock, uh, my box step holding on the spot, okay? So I'm going to do slow quick, quick, slow, no rotation, I'm keeping it simple, quick, quick. Pair of basics, promenade, promenade with the ladies turn, rock step times four, box step times two pairs. We try it with the music. <laughs> Five, six, five, six, seven, and four. four. So my legs are 
YouTube song and we're going to rotate around the room. So instead of stopping over in that corner and starting it again, I'm just going to position myself so that I continue around the room. Remember, I go anti-clockwise. Okay, let's go for another cool and groovy song. Let us try this one. <laughs> Thank you. 
well even though I can't see you I am assuming that you're doing really really well so the guys that are on live two of them or two but you know what that's a wonderful thing because YouTube it doesn't matter if I'm talking to myself or only one or two people people come back to this it's saved in cyberspace forever and ever and if someone likes it in the future and it helps them then I have done my job let us look at one final step I know the brains are going, oh, wow. Um, in my real in-person classes, when there's a big group and we've got lots of partners, we switch partners, okay? So we learn one or two steps, we do it with the music, and we're switching partners, okay? So that's the really cool thing. We get to know everyone. Even if you come with your own partner, you'll still switch partners. We don't just stay with one partner. We switch partners, and it's brilliant, and we get to know everyone, and it makes your dancing so much better. What it also does, it does break up the fact that I don't give as much content in every single lesson, okay? Because we do it, we practice it with the music, and then we switch a partner. So it's not just me giving you content, content, content. When we're teaching through this media, obviously on YouTube or any of the online platforms, and it's one-way communication, there's a lot more content coming at you. That's why I do say if you need to pause and, and go off, then do so. Um, again, I take it a little bit more slowly in real life when there's a big group of class. Um, let's add on the sway step. The sway step. Six quick steps. Wow, another change of timing. I know. But I'm assuming you're doing really well. So we are going to do quick, 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 quick. And if we lose count, don't panic, but it's six of them, okay? Everything else we've done has been slow, slow, quick, quick. The box step was slow, quick, quick. Mm -hmm. We lost a slow. And this one is quick, 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 quick. Easy. What could possibly go wrong? Left foot starting. Remember, I'm doing everything for the leaders. Step, tap. Step, tap. Step, close like being in the disco. Of course it is. No, I'm only joking, but you are enjoying yourself. So it's step, tap, step, tap, step, close. Let's go once more. A step, tap, step, tap, step, close. Little bit quicker because it is quick. Quick, 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 quick. Once more. Quick, 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 quick. With the sway step, and like I say, you don't have to do these in this particular order, but with the sway step, we quite often have come out from turning the lady. She's come out of a promenade turn, and we catch her, and we hang out on the spot and do the sway step. It fits in beautifully after a promenade turn. It also is normally done as a pair, okay? Because it's a quick step, and because by the time you do the first run of it, the lady might not be fully aware. Oh my goodness, what's happening? Oh, it was a sway step. Oh, right. And by the time she's realized the sway step is happening, you're on to the next step. So I always recommend do the sway step as a pair, okay? That would be our standard way of teaching it, to do it twice over. So we are going to do that. We're going to do quick, 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 quick. What do you notice? It's not equal in terms of I do it half to the left and half to the right. I am continuously traveling to the left. I start twice over on the left side. So it's going, traveling as normal. Quick, 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 
quick, quick, quick, quick, quick, quick, quick, quick. Hopefully we're still okay. Now we add that on at the end of our routine. We're just hanging out, okay? I'm gonna do it once more and then we'll add it into the routine. Don't panic. We're going quick, 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 quick. And if your feet are going one way or the other, that's normal. Quite often I find with students, we get the first set done and then everyone wants to go back that way and reuse the right foot. But the right, should, should, the right foot shouldn't be available for you to use on the second set because you put your right foot and you had weight on it. So at the end of the first set, there must be weight on the right foot. So we need to go quick, 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 quick. How are we doing? <laughs> okay, I am going to add that on at the end of what we've been doing, okay? Let's do it all very slowly without the music. Then I put the last lot of music on and then we see how we're doing. Let's go all together. We're going to go walk, walk, side together, walk, walk, side together, promenade, promenade, side together, turn her, turn her, side together, rock, rock, side together, the second rock, third rock, fourth rock, box step, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, get ready, sway, step, tap, step, tap, step together, step, tap, step, tap, step together. Oh, we've done lots. Let's do it all again. Five, six, seven, and walk, walk, side together, walk, walk, side together, promenade, promenade, side together, turn her, turn her, side together, rock, rock, side together, rock, rock, side together, rock, rock, side together, rock, rock, side together, slow, quick, quick, box step, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, and we sway, tap, tap, step, tap, step together, step, tap, step, tap, step together. Hopefully we're doing okay. I'm just going to put some music on, and I have a beautiful amount of sunshine coming through on this side. I'm just going to close the curtain a tiny bit, just so that... It is not glaring onto the screen with a recording. Horrible to shut it out, but it does. There, yeah, that's a bit better. It does glare a little bit. Oh, I've got a little bit of glare on here. Goodness me. Need a producer and a lighting assistant. Wonders of live television. Don't quite see that on the BBC, do you? Right. Okay. We're going to put it all together with the music. So we have done, and like I say, I'll update the description underneath once we've finished everything, and I'll write the steps that we did, just so that you can remember it. Okay, we did the basics, we did the promenade, the promenade with the lady's turn, the four rock steps, the two pairs of box steps, and the two sets of sway steps. Let's go again. Lovely YouTube music. <laughs> Two, 
should call it a day on the routine however I just want to give you a couple of little pointers like I said right away at the beginning this was for leaders in order to give you some confidence on how to get on the dance floor this routine does not need to be done in that order pick one or two of the steps that you like and work on those if you're practicing in your living room without a partner find a big cushion something similar See if you can practice holding your arms up. Remember, if you're social dancing in the future, you will need to hold your arms up here and take a hold of your partner. Shoes. When you go out dancing, make sure you've got shoes on that are appropriate. You don't need fancy dance shoes to start with. But for the ladies, ladies would wear something that's not going to slip off the feet with a small heel. It doesn't have to be big, a little solid heel. For leaders, hopefully it's leaders that are watching this video, a nice smooth soled going out shoe that you would maybe wear with a pair of trousers will be just fine. You do not need anything fancy. Something that you can slide and glide a little bit on the floor. That's all you need. That's all you need. You don't need anything fancy. First few lessons, unless you go to a dance studio. Now do check if you take up any lessons actually in person when we're allowed to geographically near you if you go to a proper dance studio do check what they allow into the studio if you're going to a function a nightclub lessons held in a church hall or somewhere like that don't worry about it but in an actual dance studio they have a very expensive sprung maple floor they may not want you in there with outdoor shoes you may need to go to somewhere else first or get something cheap off the internet do not spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds on expensive shoes there are many alternatives on eBay, especially for a very, very economical price. Look for suede sold ballroom shoes. I get some cheap from eBay for all my students, the little block heel practice shoes for the ladies, they're 12 pounds a pair, and the men's have the flat heel 
12 pounds a pair, who can complain? I get most of my beginners just say to them, get a pair of those when you first start, that'll do you. Okay, lots of information coming from me. I do hope you've enjoyed this. Look in the description below, all the details. There's the playlist for the music. I will, after it finishes, update the list of the moves that we've done. Obviously, all my contact details are in there. Any questions, please contact me. If you've enjoyed this, I have a beginner's social foxtrot course, just four weeks, and it starts on Monday, the 4th of May, broadcast live through Zoom, also recorded, and it will be on a private page on my website with the recording. So if you book into the class and you don't want to join me live and you just want to watch it in your own time on a recording, you can do so. You can join me live. You can then watch it recorded afterwards, both, either, I don't mind, but it's Monday the 4th. The live broadcast through Zoom will be at uh, four o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, yes, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. Had to just double check that where I've got a solo class two till three, and then we'll be doing the uh, uh, social fox trot. No, it's 3.30. I'm so sorry. It's 3.30 in the afternoon. We've got a, a ballroom class first, 2 till 3, and then we'll be doing 3.30 till 4.30. That's for the broadcast on Monday, the 4th of May onwards. Look on my class schedule page. It says livetodance.eu forward slash class schedule. It's all on there. It's a calendar. It tells you what classes. Click on it if you like something, um, and then you can book in should you so wish to join me a little bit more personally. That would be wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. I know I can see someone still on there live um, and anyone watching this in the future. Thank you so much for looking at this. I know there's lots on YouTube to look at. Do check out my video library. Here's a minor self promotion. I have lots of historical videos in my video library. You can subscribe for a very, very small price per month to have a look at all of those videos. And they are full length class instructions. Something I noticed a lot on YouTube is that they're short summaries, 10 minutes, five, 10 minutes, which are great for a little bit of knowledge. But if you want full one hour, hour and a half classes and a whole back catalogue of let's start from nothing and let's learn to dance A to B, then all of my long hour or 90 minute classes, again, they're all being stored into the video library. So they're on there. Something to think about in the future when you take it up. It's been wonderful. Thank you so much. Get a cup of tea. Have a lovely day. I will see you all at some point on YouTube, on Facebook, in my classes, through Zoom. Stay safe. Thank you so much. Signing off. Bye bye.